get ready to lose your biggest customer. That is one of the most profound statements for a small business owner executive you're ever going to hear. But you really have to understand what that statement means and the implications for your organization, your small business, and really your, your livelihood. I worked for a company in my very young early sales career and was responsible for a few million dollars in annual revenue of about a hundred million a year in total revenue for our organization. The company owner who was a prior G sales executive and was extremely successful. He, the individual knew how to sell. He knew how to make money and he knew how to run and operate and grow a profitable business. He would say, get ready to lose your biggest customer all the time. And I was young, ignorant, and was like, why does he always say that? Like, what does that mean? Well, I found out one day we had a large automotive customer uh, go bankrupt and stick our organization with a million dollars in receivables. So basically, they owed us a million dollars and they were going bankrupt and they were not going to pay. Or if they did, we were going to be kind of low on the totem pole in regards to who got paid when. And a decision was made by the company controller and CFO to basically eliminate an entire layer of management. And in doing so, it would kind of minimize the financial devastation of losing that customer. Well, what that meant to me, and I very quickly found out what it means to lose your biggest customer, is I was out of a job. Uh, within days of, of the customer bankruptcy, I was laid off and let go. And it was a right move by the company to sustain their business, to sustain operations, minimize the negative impact of losing that customer and that receivable million dollars or whatever it, it was way back when uh, to keep things running. Now, what does that mean for you? A lot of times a small business will have one or two customers that get really big, I call them whales. And pretty soon the whales start dictating the terms of business. So where you may have had an agreement where it was a profitable opportunity for you, you were making decent money, suddenly they're, they know they're big enough so they come back in and they say, we need you to do this for lower. Well, what typically happens, and I was a party to this in another situation, a large OEM automotive manufacturer kept asking for price concessions, price concessions, price concessions. And we would have these meetings every couple of weeks to try and figure out how we can lower the price of the goods we were making for them. And finally, I'd said to the sales director, at what point do we just say no? Like we can't produce our goods at a loss. So at some point, we're, we're going to have to stand up. And yes, they're a huge customer. They are a whale. We're going to have to stand up and say, listen, we can't lower the price any further because we can't afford to lose money on every part that we make. So if you lose your biggest customer and you're behaving in a manner where you, you have to have them, if they go to a competitor for a better price, they go bankrupt like in the case of what happened to me. It can be devastating to your business. So be wary of having one or two of those whale customers and always be filling the pipeline with potential new business. So it might be somebody that you're building a relationship with today. They're not going to be a customer tomorrow, but maybe they're going to be a customer in a few months. Start systemizing the process of building those relationships, filling that pipeline so that when you lose one of those whale customers, it doesn't completely upset your apple cart, devastate your business, and possibly force you to close your doors.